Welcome back YouTube, Project No Rice. We're doing a, it is Project No Rice. We're just doing a, a, a standby clutch until we put this stroker motor in. But anyways, here's uh, Project No Rice. And remember it's no rice because we're not using eBay poor people shit. It's all top of the line stuff. Like this bullshit intake he got when he bought it. This was came with it when we bought it. That's going in the garbage. If you want it, pay for shipping, you can have it. So, anyways, the clutch went out on this. So it's a pain in the ass to move around. So we're just going to put a uh, low-end Exeti clutch to tide us over until we put in the 2,600-pound pressure plate ACT six-puck in here. So let's get to working. So here's the clutch. Uh, where's the part number on this bitch? There's the part number. So we got this on Rock Auto, I think, for like 65 bucks or something. So... Just a standard street. What I think happened to the clutch right now is all this material fell off. You got your clutch alignment tool. Throw out bearing. And pressure plate should be underneath all this shit. There's a pressure plate and a new pilot bearing that we're not gonna use right now because it doesn't matter. First thing we need to do is take off this intake. Uh, we need to unbolt the starter and then undo the clutch line that goes to the body. And then we can uh, break loose the hubs so we can get the axles out. Whenever you're working with a starter or anything electrical, always undo the battery. Now we're taking the wheel off so we can get to the hub nut. You're going to want to go ahead, unplug, actually take off this bracket from the transmission and undo those bolt brackets there that connect the, to the transmission. And that ground wire right here and then the starter itself is going to have two bolts, but we're going to have to unplug all these sensors because it's on the same wiring harness to make our life easier. The hub nut is a 32 millimeter. Alright, so to pop out the axle from the transmission here, we need to be able to pull this out, right? So we're going to take off the tie rod, we're going to take off the knuckle here, that way we can slide it out easy and we're going to take off the lower ball joint nut. You can use the pry bar like this, put it in between, pop it out. And then one person needs to pull down on the lower control arm so he can slide it out. Now you're going to have to pull this bracket because that's attached to the tranny. You got one bolt here and I guess we can leave these two bolts over here alone and just leave the bracket there. Then you're gonna have to remove this intermediate shaft and there's two bolts, one up there and one off to the left. Now you're gonna remove this arm here. This is a 12 millimeter and then just pry it off this way. Once you get those bolts out then you're gonna pry this way that way to get this out of the tranny. The tranny. Now we're going to take all these bolts off of this cover. So this looks like a 10, a 12, and probably like a 17. Yeah, 10, 12, 17, 10, which is kind of retarded. Go ahead and remove the bolt there to get the linkage off so you can get this out of your way. Then you're going to Pull this piece of plastic off. There's a clip there. And then you have bolt there, bolt there, bolt there. And then a clip on the other side. You're going to want to leave the side motor mount on and the back one on until you lift the car back up. So right now, we're going to take off the top tranny mount and the starter. Look, look at all this fuzziness from his clutch. 
Yeah, the clutch is gone. So you're going to have 17 millimeter bolts. I'm just breaking them all loose so that I don't have to try hard later. And breaking them loose over here on this mount. All right. <clears throat> so what you're going to do now is uh, we're pulling out all the top bolts. We have that in still. So that's supporting the transmission. We have the bolts out of there. We have the starter out. All the wiring's unhooked. Don't forget this speedometer plug. You'll be pissed if you drop the tranny and rip that apart. And so I'm going to pull out that bolt there. And then all the top bolts should be out. Take out these two bolts from the back. They should be 17s. And that one back there so that this whole plate's loose. Alright, I lied, I'm a dumbass. It's a 19. Those are 19s. To get the shifter linkage loose, I just broke the exhaust loose here and then pushed it over and then pulled it out. Then I have the bolts out of here. This bracket is empty, uh, so I still have the tranny bolt here and tranny bolt here holding it together. So I'm gonna. Oh, and here's the motor mount. So I'm going to undo these two tranny bolts over here. And then finally, I'm going to just lower this whole piece. I'm going to leave all this attached. And then we're going to, both of us, manhandle this bitch onto the ground. Drain your tranny fluid right now. Right now. All right, so we got the tranny jack on. Now I'm going to undo these bolts here, drop it out, and uh, take a look at what this beautiful clutch is probably looking like right about now. All right, I just looked, and it's gonna be a lot easier now that we started lowering this, uh, just to pop off this arm. All right, we got this thing strapped to the jack. We lowered it, see there's gap. Now we're gonna pull it away from the engine this way about until it unlocks from the uh, flywheel and then we can lower it the rest of the way. way. Are you put it in here? Hey, look at this dude's tranny. Oh shit, there's a rat nest in this motherfucker. Shit son, doesn't look too bad over here but let me pull this pressure plate off and see what happens. All right, so here's the moment of truth, the last bolt. It's coming out right now. Oh shit! Oh yeah! Nothing There's left. nothing. On. There's nothing left. <laughs> Look on at there. what happened on the floor. Oh shit! Hot rod in this biatch. All right, put the clutch. It says TM side. That's transmission side. So you see Put this up here, slide your tool through into the pilot bearing. Then you grab your pressure plate. You find the dowel pins, put it on, and then just put all the screws in finger tight first. All right, once you get them all finger tight, make sure you hold this tool straight, straight with the engine. Then you're gonna do like one, well, it's only like a half a turn. Half a turn, then go straight across. Half a turn, then you're gonna come across over here next to the first one. Then you're gonna go straight across. Then you're gonna go across again over here. And straight across. Just the same way you would do like a six lug on a truck to torque down their wheels. That sort of pattern. Um, and keep doing that until they're all bottomed out and then you're going to torque them to 19 foot-pounds in the same exact order. So you guys need to buy one of these tools. It hooks the flywheel in two spots and then you have your little helper hold the flywheel so it doesn't turn. Then use a torque wrench, 10 millimeter 12 point, 
and you torque them in that star uh, down to 20 foot pounds and you'll be good. All right, check this out. This needs to be very loose, okay? If this shit is hard to get out, then you're fucked it up, okay? Don't be an idiot. So we're gonna put the fork back on. You wanna make sure to use high temperature grease on this stud here. And then you're gonna wanna put a little bit on the fork. I'm gonna get the spring out of my way. So on the fork, you wanna get it in where the ball sits. And then put the spring back in. You just compress this down. How about nasty now? So you're just gonna take a little bit, sort of massage it on here. Um, maybe not that little. Make it so that you can tell it's on. Yeah, so you put the throw bearing on, halfway, then you slide this on, and then you have to sort of do it together at the same time, and then it does that. And that's it. You get your little boot here, your little booty, you smush your little booty in here, like so, like a hillbill booty. Okay, good. And we bought a new slave cylinder. We need to put some lube on this and in here too, where they contact. Cut. So now that you have lube on it, go ahead and put it in to the fork. Put your bolts in the hole. And then tighten these down. After that, go ahead and do everything in the reverse order. I told you how to take it apart. Plug back in the battery, start it, move on with your life. Till next time, wrench on.